made the switch from university to Harlequins. Still, the back rower has wiped the floor of his competition, running sublime lines and scoring some great tries. This has all led to a call-up to the uncapped England XV that will face the Barbarians on the 2nd of June. Don Brandt optimises an extremely promising future for Harlequins that looked so doom and gloom last season. Despite fading a little bit since his initial breakthrough, the guy with the so-called got a rig from university still, but be a dominating presence on the field, earning the nickname the Dominator. He has drawn comparisons with Quinn's legend Nick Easter, but I don't agree with comparing upcoming players with legends. Nonetheless, the future is bright for Don Brandt. Notable mentions go to John o Ross for being well, John o Ross and uh, Stephen Luatua, who very much proved his worth at Bristol, but for me the spot had to go to Don Brandt. Austin Healy's wannabe love child has been the essential cog to the Exeter machine this season. Replacing one of the great modern sevens, Julian Salvi is no mean feat, but Kvesic has probably surpassed such an expectation. He has had to play mostly at eight this season due to the unfortunate long-term injury of Sam Simmons, but the England international has worked his socks off, and boy has it paid off. A multitude of tries and man-of-the-match performances has resulted in a nomination and player of the year, as well as various selections and teamers of the year, not just mine. He has always been an impressive stealer at the breakdown, but injury to Simmons has allowed the former Gloucester player to develop his all-round game to an almost unrecognisable effect with many calling for a just selection into the England squad. Problem is, is that he faces stiff competition from Tom Curry and Sam Underhill, who have each played really well themselves this season, both internationally and in the Premiership. But his versatility this season could help Kvesic gain on the two international caps he received in 2013. I'm a huge fan of Morgan. Unfortunately, someone isn't. He's always been a big unit with a decent try scoring rate akin to that of any back rower, but this year he's proved immensely. His engine is now seriously good, like Chris Robshaw or Sione Calamophoni good. His work rate has enabled Gloucester onto the front foot, and his reinvigorated self has be become a key part of a monstrous pack that saw the Charing Whites reach their first semi final in just under a decade. His consistency is unfaltering and always put in huge shifts in an England jersey in the ye old Lancastrian days. Uh, Sam Burgess, uh, Stefan Armitage, uh, Manic Swalangi on the wing. Uh, he should be the first choice number eight, as Van Polar has decided to adopt the mantle of cursed injuries that once befell Tualangi, and also he hasn't put in a good performance, European final aside, in years and Nathan Hughes is not of international standard in my opinion. Morgan should be on the plane to Japan. He won't because Eddie Jones has an obsession with Pacific Islanders that borders on the xenophobia and also he plays the Gosta, which apparently is a good enough reason for not being selected. Whatever the case, it cannot be argued that Morgan has had an outstanding season and wholeheartedly deserves to be on this team.